So over the past um, few days, I've done a few sharpening videos. Both of them, I used a really inexpensive Home Center Arkansas stone, and I sharpened a number five plain iron, and I sharpened a Narat stew chisel. And the whole point of the videos was to see that, or to show that you can pretty much sharpen any woodworking tool with fairly inexpensive equipment. Um, this stone here, I looked up the price of it. I, I'm, it's Now it's selling for about $15. I don't even think I paid that much for it when I bought it, but um, in the leather strop I use, I made that from some craft leather that, leather that my uh, wife picked up for me at, at a um, store like Michael's or something like that. Um, but normally I sharpen with water stones and, and I have here my an 800 grit and an 8,000 grit both from King. The combined price for both these stones is right around $100. Um, I've been using them for quite a few years. I like them and I'm gonna see, I just I want to do a quick experiment because I'm sharpening today the other stew chisel. Here is the one I sharpened, um, I just thought it was Thursday. This one, before I sharpened this one, the, these two were in almost identical shape in terms of their level of sharpness. Um, like any woodworker, I don't have, I'm not gonna tell you that all my, sh my tools are razor sharp, but. They're none of them are dull because I do use them. If I were a professional, I'd probably be sharpening my tools every day, maybe even twice a day, but I, I only do this. I'm a weekend warrior for the most part. So um, I usually only sharpen my chisels when I need, when I'm about to use them. But that being said, I do, none of my chisels are what I would consider dull. They're just not at an optimal, optimal level of sharpness all the time. But um, this, this chisel has been prepped already. It, 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 very unlikely you're going to be able to see this, but the back is flat. I've had these chisels for quite a few years. So I just want to see how long it takes me to raise a bar and get this sharp in comparison to the Smith stone that is sitting on my bench here. So once again, lift, index, lift slightly. Start moving. I said before, I generally like to sharpen with one hand. I don't have gigantic hands, but they're not small, so I find it more awkward to use two hands than I do one in most cases. And there's the bar already. I will use the the higher grit stone, the 8,000 grit stone, to remove the bar. Once again, register, lift. So one thing with water stones compared to oil stones is you have you really have to use the whole stone unless you want to make a um, groove or a rivet or whatever you want to call it almost like a rut in your uh in your stone almost there register up slightly the nice thing with water stones especially when you get into the polishing stones is they really leave a very polished edge almost As I said, I have, for some odd reason, I'm decent at putting an edge on a pocket knife, which is not easy. A lot of people will tell you it is. I don't find it easy. For some odd reason, I can never do it with a water stone. I, I, would, I would have dull spots on the knife. And that's the main reason I purchased that oil stone that I used in the other two videos. And there is the bar. So now I'm going to get the strop. Once again, this strop is already charged. Let's see if I can move this without knocking it over. Hopefully you can see it. 
my workbench isn't set up for filling. That's already very sharp. Lips. As I said, I usually do I don't know, maybe 30, 30 strokes. I usually don't count. Let's see what I have. Sharp. Got a piece of oak here. Sorry, my garage is filled with things that shouldn't be in here. Let's see what I do. Now it is it is easier to clean and drain with a stew chisel, so this might not be fair. But you can see this is really just slicing through this like it's not even there and see if I can make a spill like I did the other day no luck on the spill but it's easily sharpening or I'm slicing through this the laundering of this oak board. Slice of the end drain, as I said, it's made very fine shavings. So there you go. It's very cut through that like almost like it was going through laundering so once again there you have it that was a matter of maybe 90 seconds I was able to raise a bar remove the bar polish it and then strap it and it does help when you have a good chisel this these narrow chisels I aren't what I would call great chisels but they're very solid for their price range. And I can shave my, I have quite a bit of hair on my hand, so I could shave them. You can see that comes right off. So yeah, this, there's a lot of different sharpening methods out there. None of them should be expensive. Try this, this should slice through that very easily, and it does. Right on the lawn end. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. You, you, <laughs> I'm not a great orator, but it is really easy to put a good edge on a chisel. Don't let anybody tell you that you need anything more than a couple of sharpening stones, a leather strap. You don't really need a guide. You don't really need, I, I'm, I have nothing against guides, but they can be really expensive. Now, it, one place why where I would advocate using a guide is for a person in my, my, my condition right now is I have, I have arthritis in both of my hands. Um, and, I, and I have carpal tunnel on my left hand. It's fairly severe, meaning I, I have numbness in my hand from my wrist up to the tips of my fingers. My two, my index and my pointer, or my two fingers here especially. Um, I've had it looked at by a hand specialist a few years back. There's really not a whole lot you can do about it, except eliminating repetitive motion type of um, tasks, so, so, typing, um, played the guitar for a long time. I've worked with my hands for my entire life. So I, I do have issues and there a guide might, if, you, if you're 
worse off than I am. A guide might be the way to go only because it's saving your hands. But in terms of you need a guide to sharpen, no, not, not even close. You, you saw this video here, as I said, this took a matter of two minutes to get an edge on a chisel with two very inexpensive stones. I've seen these stones run three, four, five hundred dollars each and people, I mean, really pushing woodworkers to buy them. And that's just nonsense. You, you don't need anything like that. If you have good tool steel, you can sharpen good tool steel with minimal equipment, minimal effort, and a little bit of practice. So I hope this helped and have a great day. Thanks.